today we're going to do a little walk around of this electrical system that we did in a Ford Transit. This is an electrical system that we did for a very large corporate customer. This is going to be a demo rig for them that will then get built out at a later date. They asked us for a very a specific use case. They want it to be the simplest electrical system that we could put inside of a rig. And the electrical system needed to be able to be put in and removed. They were going to assemble it on a bench. It takes a lot less time to assemble an electrical system on a bench than it does inside the rig. So these can be mass produced on a bench in a workstation and then assembled and put inside the vehicle. If there's any issues with it, in the future, it can actually, the entire thing has quick disconnects all the way around. It can easily be disconnected in five minutes, pulled out, worked on. While it's being worked on, another electrical system can sit right inside. It took us about a month to, uh, to design this from the electrical engineer to the graphic designer to actually installing it on what is a demo template here. Nomadic Cooling has every single one of these components in 3D for ease of use in the future. So we can give it to the graphic designer in the wood shop so they can cut it out so it can be easily mounted. This will be a bed platform here. Underneath the bed platform, um, this box, you won't actually, and the customer won't actually be able to see this. It will have a, uh, a protective cover on the front with air to be able to move in and out. These are non-lithium batteries, so they're actually getting charged off the alternator. There's actually a solenoid underneath the driver's seat that when you turn on the ignition, it opens the solenoid to charge these batteries. This vehicle can also charge at 30 amps offshore power right into the inverter. It has a 30 amp Victron MPPT. It also has a battery protect 220. We utilized a Victron Lynx distributor in here to make sure that everything was fused properly. Each battery has a protective fuse on it as well as a master fuse after the battery. You know, you may want to use a class T fuse, but they're not readily available today. So we built this with everything that we have in stock, readily available that we typically don't have supply problems with. It's actually pre-wired for an air conditioner. It's pre-wired for 12, 12 volt electrical outlets as well. And then it's also has positions for up to three fuses on the 110 side. So this, we've already run four locations, three up top and actually one below where you can have 110 power throughout this vehicle. Normally, as you know, over here at Nomadic Cooling, we don't do electrical integrations in house anymore. This was a very special customer. So we decided to bring it in, take a look at how this could be, you know, basically mass produced to do multiple variations of this, but make it as simple, robust, and as safe as possible. Once again, this is a very uh, simple, non-complicated electrical system. It's on the base level of affordability here and ease of use. Guys, if you are a large company that needs custom electrical work done, custom diagram, custom installation, do me a favor, give Nomadic Cooling a call and maybe we can help you design your electrical system for your overland rigs or your future uh, business project anywhere out there in the world. Guys, go further in comfort with safety with Nomadic Cooling.